So hi everyone, I'm Claudia and we're here for another round of the HDYU Community Stories. These are stories for the community, to the community, to hear directly from us. And uh, this time we're hearing from Nicola from uh, Czech Republic. So hi Nicola. And uh, I'm Claudia, for those who don't know, I'm from Italy, I'm 26. I'm an ambassador at risk. And today we're actually talking about this, so living at risk. And uh, Nicola, if you want to start by introducing yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, thank you. So, hi everyone, my name is Nicola and uh, I'm from Czech Republic and I'm 21 years old and I'm actually at risk because my dad is uh, testing positive and also like have symptoms for Huntington's. So yeah, I'm uh, my whole life uh, I'm at risk. And, uh, you know, can you share us, with us a little bit about what, what it was like growing up, you know, with HD at, in your family? Uh, at what age did you exactly knew about HD and uh, being at risk, actually? Um, the first time I realized that it was 14 years ago. So it was, I was seven years old when uh, my dad starts having symptoms. And since then it was like me, my dad and Huntington's. And yeah, it was uh, for the first time, it was uh, really hard to uh, accept it and understand what Huntington's means. And it it wasn't that easy, and you know it's it's a really difficult disease, and uh, also it's really difficult to get it when you're so young. But when I was like growing, I I started like uh, researching more information about what means like have Huntington's and what it actually is, and also I found that my grandmother, like my father's mom, died for uh, Huntington's since uh, before I was born. So yeah, the growing with Huntington's, uh, it was for me uh, in my life. It was like. Uh, like my dad is no more here for like taking care of me and now it's my turn and I have to, if I can, I have to like help him and take care of, of him. It was uh, such a big thing in my life and I guess I think that I finally accepted like, you know, you know this is life and I just can't like um, just change it. So the main thing is like accept it as it is and just start working about the relationship with my daddy again, also with like Huntington, about Huntington uh, community. And yeah, it was completely different uh, between me and my sister because I was like seven years old when he started has symptoms, but my sister, she was one year old. So um oh. i know my dad you know it was yeah i actually know the person he was before huntington starts but my sister doesn't so i just can't imagine how difficult it can be for it it was for her you know she don't know who uh, her daddy was i know it and the opposite it was maybe harder for me like to accept that he's not the person he was but yeah, it was like, it was life changing, you know, it is life changing. It's completely different, like in a normal families. And yeah, so it was started when I was seven. And since then, yeah, it was like phases of this. But in the end, it was like, I have to take care of my daddy. He just he just can't do it for himself or also for for me so i just have to do it and help my mom with it because Huntington's is really difficult and like for one person mm -hmm. like one person have to do all these things it's it's not like it's not working so it's also on a whole family it's not only the the wife or husband or one child it's like whole family thing so yeah i'm just like started to uh, to help my mom 
come and also help with my little sister, taking care of her, also my daddy, because my mom has to go to work and I was in school, but I also have free time. So yeah, that was, that was my teenage. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing that. And I, I can sort of relate from the, the point of view of your sister, because I, I actually have a sister that's 10 years older than me. Yeah. And so I, I can feel like actually she saw some parts of my mom that I I didn't have the chance to see, you know, and she actually had to, to take care of me the same way that you took care of your sister. And that's, Really, thank you for sharing that. But I just wanted to ask you something. Were you aware from the beginning of the at-risk part? Or is something that you realize, you know, some years later? Uh, you ask if I realize it at first, like I'm at risk? Or... Yeah. If, you, if yeah. you knew firsthand about the being at risk yourself, or if it was something that came up, you know, years later? At Camps Up, your slider at first, uh, like for me, it was, oh my gosh, my dad is starting changing. What's happened? Okay, he's sick. He has Huntington. At, at first, I wasn't like, uh, oh my gosh, what it is. No, it was less, okay, it's, it's Huntington. I don't know what it is. And it's something, I don't know what. And then maybe when I was 12, I just starting like research and find a HDYO. And starting like knowing what it is and also that as a genetic uh, like uh, illness. So that's like chance to have it too. So it, it wasn't like on the same time as I found that my dad has Huntington's. It was years later. Okay, thank you. Thank you for, <clears throat> for sharing that. And, you know, mm, HD and uh, being at risk, how it does impact your, you know, your day life, you know, how much do you think about it or you put it in your thoughts when you have to make a decision or just your everyday, you know, routine? Yeah. Yeah, for now it's different because uh, in this time my dad is in a care house, so it's not daily thing that like I'm thinking about because he is not actually at home. When he was at home, it was... Uh, it was completely different because I see him and see Huntington's every day. So I was like thinking about that more than now because I saw it every day. Now, like being at risk, it's not that big thing in my life. Of course it is, but it's not that um, every morning when I wake up, I'm just thinking that, okay, maybe I'm positive. Okay, maybe I'm negative. No, it, it's elegant. It's like different. And just, yeah, when I'm talking, like when I'm going to some Congress or talking with some like doctors, okay, of course I will talk about Huntington's because I know that it's here, but it's not like uh, that I'm daily thinking about it. Um, but um, maybe for example, like for me, it's like really important to be honest to people. So uh, for example, I just met someone and he knows it. It was like maybe one of the three first thing that I taught to him because for me it's really important and I wanted to be honest to the people that I like or I love or just came to my life and I guess that they will be important for me and I want to be like honest. So yeah, when I met, I don't know, boy or a friend or somebody walk into my life and I guess that they will be really important for me at some part of my life. I just feel that I have to taught it to them because it's a big thing. And yeah, I think that it's important to be honest. But I'm not like thinking about Huntington daily, like thinking about that maybe I have it, maybe I don't have. That's not my daily thing. But also, for example, when I met someone, like for a relationship or friendship, I think that it's really big thing and I want to be honest with them. And so I'm talking about it. I'm finally totally like fine share it because it's, that's, that's my life. It's not something that I have to be scared about it or feel like I, I can't tell it to anyone. It's 
it's it's supposed to be secret. No, it's not. It's my life, and that it's part of me. The part that it makes me like the people who I am now. So I think that no, I'm not like thinking about it daily, but also it's a really big thing, and for sure it's it's like maybe you know that when you forget something or something drop you from your hands. It's also like something in your mind. It's like, oh my gosh, maybe it's starting. Maybe I'm positive. Yeah, yeah. it is here. But in this moment, you have to tell yourself that it's completely normal and it's happened to everybody. Yeah. It's not only you that you forget that it's, I don't know, Friday. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but, those five seconds of panic whenever, you know, we have a, a game of cards. When you know the symbols of on the cards, with in every game you choose one, and that's the one that, that you know the truth. And in the last game, you remove the card, and you're supposed to remember the symbol because you've been playing a whole game with that symbol. And every time I'm like, I don't remember it. And then those are my five yeah. seconds of pain, and then I'm like, okay, no, yeah. <laughs> let's go on <laughs> because yeah. that's you know our decision. And so you know, can you explain? Basically, the, your decision to remain at risk and if you have ever considered the genetic testing yeah. or, or not, or basically why did you decide to remain at risk for now? Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's true. But, like, for now, for me, it's like I'm more in this community and talking with people about Huntington's, like, in a Czech and also, like, in a global and uh, we were uh, at the Strasbourg and the conference and it was like a um, big thing for me because now, as I said, it's not a daily thing because my dad is not home anymore, but I went to the France and it was like one week and I was like one thing that I was thinking and talking about whole week it was Huntington and since then I have just started about going to test it because it's a big thing and maybe I'm ready to know it but I know that it's only my decision and if I ever feel that I really don't know it it's fine it's totally fine staying at risk it's totally fine going to test it it's only my decision as yours as to anyone it's, it's our decision at Nobody can make like the pressure on us because it's only our thing. But also, yeah, like I'm young, but yeah, I'm thinking about like uh, having a family and having kids. And for me, it's like, yeah, my daddy started being sick when I was seven and my sister was one year old. So it was... Yeah, it was so early and I just can't imagine that I do it to my children, you know, because it's, it's really, it was really, really hard. Like, yeah, I, it's, it's my life and I'm totally fine on it. And I'm also happy for it because if uh, it's not in my life, I didn't meet you and didn't meet anybody from this community. And, uh, if it's not here, I'm not the person who I am, but also it was hard. It was a hard time in my life to accept it and get it. And I don't know if I am that strong at if I'm okay with making make this to my children. You know, I know that that is like the EVF and the thing that I can like make children and be 100% sure that they don't have it. Yeah, I know that. I know that I just don't have to know that I'm positive or negative and still go to the EVF and have children for 100%. They don't have uh, Huntington, but also it's not only about like having it, like, but it's also like your your parent have it. And it's, it's such a big thing. And I'm not sure that I I'm okay with doing that to my children. So now I'm just starting like um, going to test it because of my future. Also, it's not that big argument because like, you know, the phrase is you live only once and the day will never, <laughs> this day will never again. But 
um yeah i'm i'm trying to live like my best life like every day but also if i know that maybe i'm positive i will do things different and also like the thing is about thinking about family and having children because yeah, I know how it was that my dad has hunting done when I was young and it was so hard and I just can't imagine to do it to my children. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. And first of all, thank you for what you said before, you know, we, we met in Strasbourg and it was an instant uh, click. Yeah. And we actually <laughs> thought about our, our situations a lot because those are really similar. And you know, that's basically the same for me, you know, being a trisker now, it's what I decided to do for, for my life, for my well-being, for my YOLO, you only live once uh, kind of thing. But the the family planning and the decision about having children, and I'm not actually sure about what, what decision I would take, but that's what when I would, uh, you know, want to do the test because that's something that's going to impact not just me because, as you said, you can have HD-free children but you're still going yeah. to have HD and they will still have an ill parent and they will still have those things that I feel like we missed. And yeah, I, I can really totally, totally relate with that. And, you know, my friends and my family are super okay with that. I'm totally, you know, free in this, uh, uh, in this decision because nobody's pressuring me. And I wanted to ask you, you know, how how is your family and your friends taking this decision of, you know, you staying at risk? Because in, in my personal opinion, you know, my, like my family is quite happy, I think, that I'm living at risk right now. Because going through testing is something that affects you, but also affects, you know, all the people that are around you. And for now, they are happy with my decision and they respect whatever I want to do. So I wanted to ask you if, if that's the same, you know, or if you have a, a you know, pressure to do that or don't do that. Yeah, so um, uh, with my friends, like the ops hunt, like uh, they're thinking completely different, like one kind of friend think like that and other thing like that. But it's... Some of them, it was like, yeah, if I am in your situation, I want to totally know it because, yeah, as I said, because of the family and that you will have and things like that. Others are like, oh my gosh, why you don't, why you wanted to know it? But because you don't know if you will be there when it will start, if you don't have any other disease, you know what will happen next year, next two weeks, you don't know it, why you want to know this result. So that was like uh, thinking about it with my friends and uh, about my family, it's like uh, my mom is like super supporting me and she was always like, it's your decision, it's your thing and I want to be happy and I want to I will be there for you if you will be positive, negative, or at risk. It's your thing and you have to do this decision. But when I went from the Strasbourg home and came to my mom and was like, you know, mom, maybe I'm start like uh, thinking, oh my gosh, my dog. <laughs> I'm start thinking about uh, going to test it. And she was like, okay, and what are the reasons why you want to know it? And I was like, you know, maybe in some time I will have my own family. And I'm not sure if I want to have family if I have it. And she was like, yeah, she started crying. And she was like, oh, my gosh, and then we, I want to be a grandmother. And I was like, yeah, I know that. But can you imagine that you are in my situation imagine it you're in my situation and you know that you're positive you do want to still have a children if you know how it was with my with dad and if you take it like not back but now if you can make a decision to have other children and you know that it uh, the children will be in the same situation will you do it again and she was like 
oh my gosh, I never imagined this. And yeah, you're right. Probably if I know it, I won't do it. So that was like thing that I came, thing that with I um, came home, and she was yeah, she's super supporting me, and, and it's not pressure in our family. Nobody here told me you have to do it or you don't have to. It's only my thing, and that's thing that. Uh, the whole HDI community have to know that it's only your thing to going through the genetic testing. Nobody can push you into it. It's only your things because once, if you know it, you just can't like take it back. It's like a thing that really can change your life and you have to be 100% sure that you can get it and that you will be fine if you will be positive or negative. And I think that no one of these like um things like being positive or negative it's not like like when you know it's also like for me it's if i will be negative so i don't have it still it's still my sister here and she don't know it and i just can't imagine how it will be or how it could be uh, if i don't have it and she has it you know, it's like, um, it's thinking about why I am the survivor. It's not winning and in the global, you know, it's like the same, like why, I don't know why I'm still at risk, but maybe I'm negative and in this moment when maybe I realized that it was like, okay, why me and why, why some, uh, someone from this community as positive? Why? Why me? You know, it's it's not winning to be like G negative. You know it. You're living it, and it's it's different. So it's not like the happy end if you don't get it. It's also like so many things uh, on the other side. So yeah. So uh, <laughs> I have to answer the question. <laughs> Uh, no, it's nobody here. It's like uh, pushing me into it. They are like really happy in the situation that I'm now. They're accepted and they are happy that I'm happy. But if I just change my mind, I'm going to try uh, to test it. Or if I don't want to know it, they will like always support me. And I guess that this is really important to have people in your life that you that supports you. Yeah, and I totally agree with basically everything you said. And I have to say that sometimes it's also the it's always the strangers that have an opinion on this because you know family, friends, the HD community. We we know what it's like, so we're we're ready to support whatever decision. And sometimes I get you know strangers because I am too, as you really open about it. So I always talk about it. I don't have a problem, you know, saying that. I am a tree and all those kind of kinds of stuff. And a lot of times, you know, strangers are like, oh, well, but you should do that because if you're too negative, then you're negative, then you're free. And I'm like, no, because this is like a, a family thing. You know, it's, it's not just me. I still have a parent. I still have a sister myself. And so it's, it's something that's going to affect me and that basically shaped part of, or all of my life. So being negative won't be being HD free, you know, it, it, it will still be there. And that's uh, sometimes amazing, sometimes uh, really, really frustrating. And, uh, you know, as we were saying before, when you trip or when you forget something, that, that's something that thinks uh, and that it's really difficult to, you know, get. And also our perspective of children, you know, our parents, I, I totally relate with your mom because I, I can see it in my dad, you know, they love us because they had us and they didn't know and they chose to have us and then they knew and they they loved us, we were their children and so it was the way it went, but we are in a different position, you know, we can, we can choose and we actually saw what it was like and we now we are actually thinking about what we we want to do next, you know, 
giving that we can have that information that unfortunately our parents didn't. And that's really something that's wow, really, really, really big. And uh, I'm, you know, me too, growing up uh, this year, starting to think about it and what, what to do. I'm still in a position when, where I'm totally not ready to do it. Well, not not to do it because I think I want to know, but at the same time, I'm not ready to have that result because it's, oh yeah, 50 and 50, not that big of a, of a sense of, a, you know, winning or losing. It's basically the same. And so it's really, really scary. And I just, sometimes I just need, you know, HD free days. I try to, you know, give myself some moments where I just, enjoy my life in my 20s without thinking about it well it's not always easy but it's like my little coping strategy to just recharge myself and spend time outside of the house because my mom is living with us so then when i come back i can actually care for for her better because i'm happier i'm more relaxed and i don't feel you know the hd pressure and i don't know if you have other you know coping strategies or practices that you do to manage all this and if you want to share with with us with me that will be great yeah for sure as i said you you have to have like a huntington's three days uh for me i was when my dad was at home <laughs> it's it's hard to say but i thought that i didn't like him like it's it's hard to say because it's my dad and he gives me life and i love him i love him so much but it was so hard to take care of 24 7 to take care of him and it was it was really hard and i've i thought that maybe i didn't like him and it was for me it was like why we why him what we did to the world to the god to do i don't know who that we have to in our lives but now it, for me it's something like like gift but since my daddy it's it's three years that he is not actually at home he is in a caring house and since then i'm just like starting like changing my mind because i'm wasting his like maybe twice uh in a month and always when I'm going to see him, I'm really looking for it to see him and be with him and talk to him what's new and how I am. And like, yeah, I'm so happy that he is still here and that somebody taking care of him because for us, it was so hard like to put him somewhere because it was so so long time that we had a, have had a, had him at home and taking care of him and then we realized then we realized that we just can't make it anymore because it's it's really hard to get him like this care 24/7 and we know that someone out there can make it like better than us and since then i'm just like starting to realize that yeah i really love my dad it's my dad he like he was a really good role mode and like girl model and yeah i really love him but when we was at home i thought that i'd hate him like it was so hard to accept it and accept him and Korea and things like that. And I just thought that I had him. And but since she's he's not like at home, uh it's completely different. I'm looking forward to seeing him, being at him, I love him and yeah, so the day, hunting the day free, that's really good thing. And I think that people from HD community and from the HD family have to do it because it's not only Huntington's in your life. You have to live your life. And also, yeah, it's life of Huntington's, but you have to think 
like about yourself and about things you love, but not only about Huntington's. It's not only about that. Yeah, that, that's really great. Thank you for, for saying that, you know, that we basically have the same opinion on a lot of things and that's really weird. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it, 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 yeah, it's true. It's really, really true. Sometimes I, I think about, you know, my teenage years when I had to care for my mom more and I didn't know. And so it was like, you know, my mom is sick, but I don't know what she has, but I have to care for her. And he, it was really, really frustrating. Yeah, I, I, I didn't like that. And then I felt, you know, like a bad person yeah. because not enjoying time with my mom. And I was like, she's my mom. I'm supposed to, you know, to do this with love. But it was a real, real pressure for me because I was young I didn't understand I didn't know and now that I'm you know older I have a job but I still live here but I am you know outside for most part of the day it's different you know I'm I've grown up and I I started to you know have connections in the HD community and started to talk about people because when I was young it was just me me and my sister and she's not really open about HD and that's totally fine but I didn't have people to talk about it also people that were in my exact situation and when I met you know the HD community and HDYO it was like a game changer for me it was like oh wow it's not just me in my little tiny village in Italy it's in the whole world and I can connect with people and we we are in the same situation you know with differences because everyone has a unique situation but we experience the same and for me you know the HD community and I guess it's the same for you but I will ask you if it was so beneficial but for me it was really game changer I think that's the perfect word because it just clicked and then I accepted the, the disease, accepted being at risk differently. It was really something that I can't explain, something that I needed and that helped me and still helps me these days so much. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, just writing, I, I'm thinking this or just I'm having this, Thoughts. I have friends that can help me, that can um, try to understand me, but they won't ever be able to understand me the way that you do. And that's not their fault, but there's something, uh, you know, connecting with these people. It's, it's super amazing. And uh, since uh, you mentioned Strasbourg and our HDN Congress where we met and the HD community, I want to ask you, how do you envision your future, you know, in relation to HD and, you know, also the, the HD community since you're being here and talking to us? And just if you want to share a little bit about that, how, how do you see your future related to, you know, this disease in this community? Um, so how I see it, um, it's, it's like a really big question and yeah, you know, as you said, like, um, met people from HD community, it's completely different. It's completely different because they know it. They live with the same thing and it's a big thing in our lives and it's completely different when you met someone who don't know it maybe know what the Huntington's is but that's not that often but it happens but yeah if people like don't live in the situation they really don't know so uh about the community um yeah Hey, I found in 2019, it's five years, that's, that's crazy. But yeah. as I said, it's completely different. And if I ever going to testing and if I would be like negative, it doesn't mean that I'm out of it. You know, it's still here. It's still in my family. It's still in yours families. 
And that's such a big thing because, I don't know, when you met someone from a Haiti family, it just click, as I said. It just like click yeah. and you understand each other in this big thing in our lives. And that's so empowered important and yeah since i'm in the hd yo community at it was for me it was life-changing moment to met these people talk with these people and i finally accepted because of these people and if i am negative positive at risk and i don't know if i ever will know the result I'm still here for, for the community because, yeah, we are here for each other and we are talking about Huntington's, but we are talking, we are also talking about the different things because we are also living like normal life. It's not just Huntington, but yeah, I think that it's really empowered to have like, like this community and it doesn't matter that they're all over the world but they're here and they're here for you and it's it's completely different like talking with people who knows about huntington's and live with it and it's completely different to talking about it with people who don't yeah they're trying to understand and it's so, so like amazing yeah they're trying but they they will never know and it's not their fault and we are so happy that they don't have to know it but yeah they're trying but, but they they will never understand you as the community to like from from the hd hd family so it's completely different and it's so empowered to have these people because you can talk more about this like uh, hard things and you I don't know if if I was in the stage when I was um, thinking that maybe I hate my dad because he has a Huntington, and when I imagined to say it to my friend, I was like, no, I just can't tell it to anybody because it's my dad. I'm supposed yeah. to love him, you know. But when you when I say it and taught it to someone from HD families. They understand me because they know how hard it is. They know that these feelings are like normal and you just have to think about it like different and they gives you like uh, different options. And yeah, you can talk about everything, about the good things, about the bad things and just just be together as also like empowered like just just stay face to face and or on video call it doesn't matter like just see the person who lives like same life as you like a big part of our lives as a same so being with uh, like being in this community and with these people is uh, super empowered and it, it was for me it was life-changing because yeah because of these people i realized that i'm not alone in this i'm not like no more i'm alone in this and i can share it i can talk about it and yeah it was it was life-changing and still is like uh have friends that really understands me about this and in, in my life and i hope that everybody from the hg families will have at least one friend from hd families because we are like um <laughs> we just like met and we know so much about like the other person you know i just if i just met someone from hg families and i said that yeah my dad has huntington's he knows me maybe at 50 percent because like 50 percent as like huntington's takes 50 percent of my life so yeah it's completely different and it's super and powerful yeah, that's that's really the truth. And considering that we are a HDU community, sorry, for the community, to the community, what would you say? What advice would you give to someone you know that considering whether to get tested or to remain at risk? You know, what would you advise? 
Uh, it's it's hard to advise because it's just like your um only your thing and uh, only you can yeah. and like uh tell to yourself what you have to do or or uh, what not but yeah that's a thing uh that i wanted to say it's only your life and if you know, want to know it just go for it if you don't know feel okay feel free it's it's okay if you like feel that maybe it's not a time maybe it will be who knows feel free for it it's your life and that's really important to know it that's that's really important for me it was like no pressure on myself that maybe i have to no it's only my life and i just have to do this like decision by myself and also one on like uh people like from the haiti family is to know that yeah maybe you're thinking that you're alone in this but you are not for 100 percent you are not i was in the same situation i was like i'm from czech republic the republic has 10 million people and it's like hunting pounds it's like it's not that it's really rare here and like in the city when uh where i live like it, it has 100 um thousand people so it's like 100,000 people uh in the global has one from the 100,000 people has hunting them so that means uh, in my whole town has uh, only my dad you know and i was i was like oh my gosh i'm alone in this and i don't know how i was supposed to, to feel about it how what i was supposed to, to do and um it's completely different when you have someone who can with who can like share it and it it helps you uh a lot and we are uh, a really good person i guess and uh, we are literally a really good group of ambassadors and we are like here for the others for me for example like why i wanted to be like ambassador it was like um, I came to do a HDY community 2019 and 2023 it was Congress and Glasgow and I finally met people like in a real life and uh, in Glasgow I finally accepted because I can talk about it and see people in the same situation and I don't know what was like what I want to say of this but <laughs> yeah it's it's like a, for me it was life-changing moment to meet like people with like the same situation in in their life yeah and i wanna like uh yeah i wanna say that why i'm an ambassador <laughs> yeah no i know oh uh, yeah i want to be i wanted to be an ambassador because I feel like I have to help this community as they help me because HDYO completely changed my thinking about Huntington's and I wanted to be one of the persons who can help to somebody else to feel more comfortable in this situation which is really terrible but it's here and when we are not talking about that when we will not it it doesn't disappear it will be still here but you will be alone in this and i guess nobody want to be alone in this and have somebody you can talk about it it's it's like really super like it's powerful and yeah it makes like um this hard things makes friends for life i guess you know it's it's completely different when you can share with someone this hard thing what's happened in your life and the relationship is really strong and it's also completely different when you share the story with the people who like live almost the same story so yeah it's really powerful and I want people to know that they're not alone in this. We are here and uh, we want to just like help 
and yeah just making friends we can talk about Huntington's we cannot it's just only how people like feel about it and if they will like feel like yeah maybe we will start like conversation about something different and then we maybe uh, went through the Huntington's that's okay we are still here and just wanna want to help other people for me it's like helping other people as like hdyo and these people from this community helped me so yeah i want to people know that yeah that's that's the beautiful thing of this community you know that we're everyone is always open to support you and you know thinking about you no know, someone wondering about getting tested and don't know what to do with it the right answer is whatever you feel it's right for you for your situation right now and no matter what that is i'm ready to support you whatever your decision is because it's it's your decision and so you have to take it basically thinking just about you and what you need and that's that's really amazing because you know that whatever you will decide and no matter what you will have people ready to support you and that's that's really really so powerful so thank you for sharing that and also thank you for what you said about you know being an ambassador to give back whatever you receive that i i felt the same you know hdyo gave me so much and when i saw the opportunity of you know being there and giving something back to, to the people i was like okay where do i sign i'm here and uh, and it's been an amazing journey and that's that's really great so thank you and i don't know do you have any final thoughts anything that you want to share about your experience being at trace and you know anything else mm, for now probably i don't know probably not but one of thing that that came to my mind it was uh, like for me hd community and the people from the community at uh, and for the from the family it's we are like one big family from across the world and that's a really a really big thing because i don't know for me having these people and people that i can talk and share my experiences about hunting us it's really important because it's yeah it's our stories are completely different ever like every huntington's is complete it's not completely but it's different in some point but yeah it's it's really good to have people from from this community then they understand you for 100 percent and how whatever you feel however you feel it doesn't matter it's it's really important that they want to just help you and for me hd like fa like people from hd families and from the hd community it's like my second family across the world okay but yeah i just feel that when i'm with you and others like i am like at home like feel like i'm with people that i'm supposed to be that people that i really love and that we like have this big thing like the same big thing and i realize it's 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 yeah it sucks but it's thing that connects us so we are one big family <laughs> yeah we're one big global family and nicola thank you for being here for sharing your story your thoughts and your personal experience on this really really thank you so much and thank you for everyone that watched this video and remember that if you want more information or you need support don't hesitate to contact hdyo because we're here for you and we're here for support you and thank you again and goodbye <laughs>